When choosing a lanyard or SRD, it's important to consider your application and calculate the distance of clear fall needed in order for the fall arrest system to activate and keep the worker from making contact with the lower level. Clear fall distance calculations differ depending on the type of connector you plan to use. With a self-retracting device, SRD, it's important to know which class it is. ANSI Z359.14-2012 sorts SRDs into two classes. Class A, which allows a maximum arrest distance of two feet, and Class B, which allows a maximum arrest distance of four and a half feet. As with any deceleration device, make sure to consult the product manual for the clear fault information pertaining to the device you choose. When using a self-retracting lifeline and connected to an overhead anchorage, you first need to take into account arrest distance, two feet for a Class A device, or four and a half feet for a Class B. Then add one foot for harness stretch and dorsal D-ring shift. And add a safety factor of one and a half feet to account for other things, such as improperly adjusted harness, actual worker height, or worker weight. As you can see, the next lower level would need to be at least four and a half feet for Class A, or seven feet with Class B, below the anchor point, in order to safely protect the worker. Another consideration is swing fall. Hello. Swing fall occurs when the worker falls while not being directly beneath the overhead anchor point. This can cause the worker to swing into adjacent obstructions rather than dropping straight down. For more information about fall protection or any fall tech products, visit us at falltech.com.